So I get this question a lot. Can you do two by six cuts with a QW410 DMP printer? And yes, you can. If someone told you you can't, Mel is here to tell you you can. And I'm gonna show you how, okay? But first and foremost, you're gonna need a photo booth, okay? Go to eventpartyco.com if you don't have your photo booth package. You can get this beautiful DSLR photo booth, beautiful oval. I do training on that as well if you need help. And then check this bad boy out. This is our full size DSLR mirrored photo booth. And I can help you with that as well. And also for the square photo booth, whatever photo booth you have, more than likely I can help you, okay? So in this tutorial, I want to show you how to do this, okay? First and foremost, guys, if I forgot to introduce myself, my name is Mel with eventpartyco.com, and I do coach, I do train on event businesses and photo booth businesses, okay? So if you need mentorship, you can call me, 214-853-0989. Now, let's go ahead and talk about these beautiful strips right here. Um, in this video, a couple of things you're going to need, okay? You're gonna need a DSLR photo booth, and you're gonna need the DMP QW410. One thing addition to that, here's the kicker, if you don't mind me saying, voila, okay? This is the DMP media set that you're going to need. And if you can read that, I know it's backwards, we're gonna need the QW410 4x6 PD-2S perforated. Let me, there we go, perforated, okay? So this is what you're going to need in order to get this done and let me show you really quick okay I have the box open but when you open it guys check this out you're going to have it already perforated okay so when it prints out it's gonna print out as a four by six and then you're going to loop cut in half with your fingers, that's it, it's super duper easy. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you two things. One, I already showed you what you need to do to get the uh, to get your printer to do this. Number two, I'm gonna show you how to design it into Canva, how to upload and to download and upload into your photo booth. And I'm gonna show you an example, a printout of this exact two by six strips so you can now offer it for your clients, okay? So if you're ready, let's go. Okay, so we are in Canva. So let's go ahead and create a design. Go to custom size, and then we're gonna type in units, make sure they are in pixels. And because it's gonna be a vertical, we're doing 1200 by 1800 as the dimensions. And let's go ahead and create. And of course, we're gonna have a blank white canvas right here. Now, I love to use Canva's resources, so let's go ahead and use their beautiful templates. Click on design, and we're going to do a birthday theme. So we'll type in birthday and select whichever template that you like. I'm going to go ahead and select this one right here. And guys, I'm not here to make everything perfect. I'm just here to show you how to download and upload. So of course, this could be way better if I had more time, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it this way, okay? So we're going to do two two by six strips on one uh, template. So I'm going to duplicate the happy birthday and I'm just going to adjust it and move it where I see fit. And just imagine two of these are going to be cut in half. Remember, it's going to print out as a six by four and then you're going to cut it in half with the perforated paper as shown in the beginning of the video. OK, so we're going to click on share, click on download, make sure it's a PNG file. And then, of course, we're going to download if you can do this on your photo booth. Do it on your photo booth. It's a lot easier than doing it on your desktop and transferring over to your photo booth. OK, so here we go. Now I'm on the photo booth. I have already downloaded on my photo booth. I'm going to go to print layout on the DSLR booth application. All right. And we're going to go ahead and make sure the orientation is vertical and also it's 1200 by 1800. Then I'm going to click on image and I'm going to select the image that we just created on Canva and voila, here we go. So we got the two images are the one image right here. That's pretty much a mirror image. OK, I love to lock it up in place so it doesn't move around. I'm trying to move it, as you can see right here, and it's not moving. Great. That's what we want. And now we're going to go ahead and get photo from booth three times. OK, oops, I made a mistake. 
one more. So hit it three times and you get one, two, three images and we're going to drag it where we see fit. Now bear with me, if you have like a wireless mouse, it will help you a lot better. I'm just trying to show you a quick video. So please do not judge. I know this could be perfect, um, but we'll do that later, okay? Now we need to duplicate image one or photo one. So we're gonna hit that duplication button and then drag it over, uh, click on two, then duplicate right next to the bottom. There we go. And um, right next to the lock box, click the duplicate button. And then we're going to drag it over as well. And then the final one is going to be three, image three, and we're going to duplicate it, okay? And as mentioned, I'm not looking for perfection right here. I just wanna show you how it's done, all right? So let's go ahead, let's launch an event. And I wanna show you a print of exactly how this whole template turned out. Now, while I am posing for the photo booth, let me have the opportunity to tell you guys, if you're interested in starting and elevating your photo booth business or your event business, go to eventpartyco.com, 39 today, start your business right away using our buy now, pay later options. So if you need help, if you need coaching mentorship, please give us a call, all right? And then finally, the Canva, the cash flow course. I'm going to put the link in the bottom of the, the page or the, the website. And please be sure you grab the Canva, the cash flow course. Shows you so much information on how to do really cool tricks and tips for your photo booth. Okay. So now it's going to go ahead and it's going to, let's click on print. It's going to print out. And of course, this is for the DMP QW410. If you have the DMP RX1HS, it already will cut for you. It is a bigger version of this printer. But Liz mentioned, if you don't have that printer and you have this QW410, no worries. You just got to grab that media kit, the perforated media kit, and you're good to go. Okay, so here it is. Here is the finished product. And bear with me. I am doing everything one-handed and filming at the same time. So you just snap it in half. And as it snaps in half, it cuts into two, two by sixes. Isn't that really neat? So there you go. You don't have to get the RX1HS. You just need to get the right media kit. All right. Eventpartyco.com has got you covered. Have a great day, guys.